arrival of the Green Brothers in Pasadena, California in 1894 brought the influence of the arts and crafts movement to architecture. In an age of increasing industrialization, the arts and crafts movement sought to bring back hand craftsmanship and to heighten the pleasure of the individual worker. The work of Charles Sumner and Henry Mother Green is usually noted as the large wooden bungalows with structural decorative elements derived from Japanese architecture. Their most famous work, The Gamble House, which is the only Green and Green residence open to public, is now an exhibit showing the totality of the Green Brothers. Externally, the material most commonly in evidence was wood, particularly shingles for siding with irregular rubble masonry, often combined with clinker bricks for the foundations, facings, pier bases, and other low exterior elements of the building and its environs. Board siding and stucco were occasionally employed. Most of the green and green houses for the first decade of the 20th century can be described as in that variety of arts and crafts style derived ultimately from the Swiss chalet built of wood with dominant gabled roofs and widely overhanging eaves. The elaborate examples have richly ornamental designs and details and surface treatments adapted from traditional Japanese architecture. Metalwork played an integral role in the Green's work from the earliest commissions. The range of the metalwork extended from the initial designs for gates, structural strapwork and downspouts, to exterior and interior lanterns, fireplace furniture, door hardware, and decorative inlay. They employed an equally broad range of materials including iron, copper, brass, bronze, steel, silver, lead, and nickel in forms that were cast, wrought, hammered, plated, and inlaid. After 1912, and especially after World War I, very few structures were carried out to the design of green and green. Their few late works are quite varied, ranging from the vaguely English Tudor style of the Flesh Hacker Mansion and the Gothic Arcade of the Nathan Benz House to the Chinese-inspired green tile roofs of the Cordelia A. Culbertson House. landscape design was Green Gables, the 75-acre Mortimer Flesh Hacker estate in Woodside, California. Identified as the largest of all the green and green designs, its water garden is noted as the most important independent work of Charles Green, although he did not list 
this among the firm's principal works. are the finest representatives of the Americanization of the English arts and crafts movement, which reaches its artistic peak with William Morris in the late 19th century. In America, the period architect whose work approaches the quality of green and greens is the far better known Frank Lloyd Wright. To their contemporary Frank Lloyd Wright, Charles and Henry Green believed architecture to be no less than a design language for life, viewing their houses and furnishings with an expressive sensitivity for geography, climate, landscape, and lifestyle.